Hey guys, we are Zeru here, and today I'm gonna do a first person review. I'm using a tripod here hanging on my neck, so it's gonna be a little bit shaky. So, yeah, today I'm gonna review the LDY Orion Live Blade and the trainer. So, this is the uh, what do they call it? They call it the special version. Um, I think it is Cerakoted and anodized purple and it has uh, I don't know how to do how to show this but it got this markings all around his body looks really nice feels much more grippier that's why I think it was Cerakoted this I think no, I don't know so these made of aluminum both of the handles are made of aluminum. They are Cerakoted, they are not. And to be honest, um, the only reason why I have to buy two, because I think in China, okay, like for you, when you want to talk to, you want to talk to your DUI to buy the knife on Instagram, so you get $99 for one life blade, and one trainer, right? Or one life blade and a calm blade or something, I don't know. Maybe a calm blade and a trainer, who knows? But here, I live in Vietnam, right? I don't know why, but when I buy it from China, I only get one of the blades. So that's why I have two Valley Song here right now. I'm charging, sorry. So that's why I have two Valley Songs. So might as well, well, I bought this for one million and six hundred Vietnamese dollars, which is less than a hundred, and this is two millions Vietnamese dong, which is almost exactly one hundred. So this is two hundred total to get both of the Bali songs, and I have no blades. I do get hardware, and this is a box. The box would look like this. I have one of the box over there because my cat over there peed on it. You stupid cat. Okay. So yeah, here's some Chinese. I don't know what it said. Maybe it said Orion Life special version. It got a star here. I don't know if that one got it. So here is here is his Instagram. You guys should follow that and contact him if you want. You should, if you live from uh, the USA, I recommend getting this. Uh, okay, so first thing first, I had this for two months. And that's why I bought this. I recommend when you try to, when you get this, uh, just don't take it out. I don't recommend open it and retune it because LDI use a... Uh, not sure what system it is, but he used it to force the bit to crank as much as possible. So basically, I can't even uh, take this one out if I want to. I mean, I can, but it will take a lot of time and it needs good quality screws. So if you don't have uh, good quality uh, torque bits, I don't recommend taking them apart. So yeah. And because uh, the previous owner, yes, I bought this second hand, uh, took one of the handles apart, it got a little bit play, a little bit. I, I did have to retune it and then try to crank it as much as possible. And yeah, it's still not as good at this. There is literally no, no play at all, like no play. And when I shake it, it doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't move or anything. But this one, yeah, I did. Because I did uh, beat this one a little bit. It does have some dink there, you see. And it did get taken apart. That's why it's a little bit weird. And both of the uh, balancing point on the battle song is around this point. Put it here. And it balanced nicely. I don't know. 
I would say, to be honest, I liked the trainer blade better than the life blade. I mean, look wise, the life blade looks way better, but it's not that sharp. So, here, let me do an example. Here's my feet right there. You saw my feet. And I try to. You see. Oh, wait, no, it is. If I hold it like that, it cuts really nicely. But if I do this, it's not gonna cut hair. So, to be honest, I don't think it's not that. It's that sharp. So, when I try to do tricks with it, it cut. Sometimes it got bite me. I did not get a cut. It's weird. So, yeah. Uh, quality wise, I like the handles. Uh, the Cerakoter feels much grippier. I don't know if it affects the sound of the body song or not, but it's, it's much better. Chaplin wise, I don't like it. I, I like the smooth feeling of the normal aluminum anodized much more because it feels smooth and light. But on this one, it feels. Uh, it's really dig in your hands. And yeah, you can, yeah, sometimes it flew away like that. And yeah. I would say this is pretty good. Ooh. Oh yeah, one more thing. Okay, so basically, uh, when I uh, take this ballet song out, I don't know if, sorry. My room is a mess right now because I just went on a two-week military training. So, yeah. So, this this ballet song right here, um, when I take it apart and then reassemble it, uh, the washer got, like, really big groups of the bushing. So, but when I put it back, it doesn't move. It, it's stuck. So, I did have to replace the washers. So that's one of the reasons, that's also why I do not recommend uh, taking it apart after for a while. So just maybe when you get it, try to take it apart if you want to tune it. But I don't recommend since like this one, when I first got it yesterday, it sounded really bad. But after a day of flipping, it's already sounded way better than this. You, you can see here. Comparing to this, okay. To be fair, I like this on the trainer blade better, but maybe I need to give this more time to sound way better. But yeah. And also on the prototype, the prototype, I did try it out too. The prototype is only have two lines of this all the way down to the handle. It got a problem, which is the bushing and the washer kind of digs into the uh, handles too much to the point that it ruins the tolerance of the knife. And... So far, so good. I did not have that problem with the two official ones here. So I guess I should be fine. One more thing. Um, people say that this one has uh, weight adjustment. Uh, that's not true. Because you, also, you have one screw here and one pin here to hold the spacer. If you remove one of the pins, you know the spacer is going to move around it cannot hold the spacers so this is just replaceable hardware replaceable hand zen pins and the pins to replace uh, uh, to hold the uh, spacers weight wise i think they are the same so no no weights mechanics for the v1 but the v the, but the total prototype i think there is so yeah that's about it for my review. I would say this video sucks. <laughs> but um, I think I might have to uh, sell this soon. Sell the trainer soon. That's why I had to do a quick review of this. 
uh, I might do a uh, more video flipping this more as more of the sound update and the uh, video quality, the look update. Yeah, but uh, you know what I mean. I hope you guys like this video. This is kind of like an information video about this, and yeah, see you guys.